Spoon for Life Coaching. How can I help Hello, you? Hello, sister. Excuse me? What can I do for you, sir? No, no. Excuse me, ma'am. I shouldn't be sounding so familiar. No, you shouldn't. Please, let me begin again. Go ahead. Ma'am, my name is Marcus. From the Chambers of Commerce downtown. I'm calling to inform you about a new program that could mean hundreds of dollars in savings on your new business taxes and special program just to help you get your business off the ground. Oh, Lord. That means Mama's got a new bag coming in. I realize that you're kidding, but I require to say that the money must be used responsibly. Oh, yes. I was just joking. That money must be used well. That's why I wanted to contact you personally when your DBA came across my desk. <laughs> You're too sweet. Hey, I don't mean to be nosy, but do you remember DeMarcus from third grade? Oh, God, is he that famous? And what do you mean? Do the booty DeMarcus? <laughs> I can't even talk about it without retching. <sighs> oh, I'm going to be sick. It makes you sick to even think about him? I can still smell him. <laughs> The diarrhea incident, you mean? It's become legend, apparently. How did you hear about it? Yeah, I witnessed it. There's a video? No, but I was there. You were there? Who are you? I already told you my name is Marcus, short for DeMarcus. Oh, no, no. I wasn't talking about D, Marcus. I thought you said my brother's name, Des Marquis. There must be a bad connection. Who did you say you are? The Marcus from the third grade, Miss Malcolm's class. You know, the one that shit in his pants so bad they had to call a hazmat team. Doesn't ring a bell. Um, describe yourself. Imani, quit playing games. Honestly, I'm not. I have no memory of grade school whatsoever. Okay, what about your birthday party when I was the only kid to show up? Or did you forget that too? Oh, you mean little DeMarcus. Oh my God, is that you? You don't look anything like you did when we were kids. Look at that gold in your braids. Dang, you look good. Don't remember nothing, huh? I am so delighted to see you. I have to admit, I did always have a little puppy love crush on you, Demarcus. So I guess that's why you started the nickname, because you was in puppy love? Look, Demarcus, I'm sorry if school was tough for you as a kid, but we were just kids. I mean... Look, I don't need your pity. I grew up, changed my name, and took over my dad's business. I got two kids, and I don't even be thinking about what happened back then. Well, good for you, Demarcus. Well, at least one of us grew up. Look, I can forgive you if you say you're sorry. Well, I am sorry for anything that you perceive as hurtful that happened to you in school. You're just saying those words to relieve your conscience. Maybe it's my trauma. They say trauma affects your memory. Well, go with that then. In any case, I want to get you signed up for your minority business grant. That's not me. It is. Oh, you mean female? Yeah, sign me up. No, I mean black. Yeah, no, that's not for me. Yes, it is. It's free money for black-owned business. But I'm not black. What do you mean you're not black, Imani? From Queens? No, I mean I don't identify as black. You don't identify as black. What do you identify with then? Oriental? I'm a quarter Irish, and I listen to Irish music. I ain't black. You got to be fucking kidding me. Honestly. Okay, okay, okay. When you get pulled over by the police, do you think they see you as a green-eyed, white-ass Irish girl or a black girl from the block? I have no idea. I've never been pulled over by the police. I actually love the police. Oh, my God. Did I just step into a bizarro world or am I losing my fucking mind? Well, you know, they say trauma can do that to What you. trauma? Oh, you mean shitting in my pants once in the third grade? Or do you mean being tormented by my classmates and called doodle pants to markers until I dropped out of school? Look, I'm very busy. So do you have a way to help my business or not? No, no, no. I don't have free money for self-hating black girls who identifies as lily-ass white girls who's 16th Irish and fucking bananas. I said one-eighth. Well, a lot of fucking die. You're one-eighth Irish, so ashamed of the color of your skin that you'd rather pretend that you're white than even embrace your own heritage and culture. Well, I think I've had about enough of this abuse. I pity you. I really do. I hope you have a nice life, Demarcus. Or whatever you call yourself these days. Abuse. <laughs> now you're playing the victim. Fuck off, doodle booty, Demarcus. Oh.